Shell check! Shell check! Are you using shell check? If not, you should be. What? You don't know what shell check is? You mean to tell me you've been writing bash scripts all this time without protection? I'm disappointed in you. I'm gonna tell you what it is. This is going to make shell scripting not dangerous to write. This is shell check. It's a script analysis tool. It's basically you put a bash script into it and it says what's wrong with your bash script. It basically does all the hard work for you. So let's load an example here. Look, a random example and look what it tells us. It tells us it's all wrong. Look, we shouldn't use ls because it's fragile. We need to use globs instead and it's told us and then you can even click it and it tells you why. Look, use globs so names and dashes won't become options. Wow, that's done it all for us. Look at that. Magic. It's, this is a web browser, right? And obviously you don't want to be copy and pasting your scripts into a web browser. You don't know what they can be doing. You can install this as a command line tool. Command line review. It's called shell check. There you go. You just install it using your package manager. It's everywhere. It's written in Haskell, by the way, so it's very, very cool. And I have this, this, I have this script here that does a, a Postgres backup for me. I've intentionally put some mistakes into it so we can see what is wrong with it? So we run shell check this, like this, and then there we go. It's the same output, but it's much snappier. For example, double quote to prevent globbing and word splitting. So I have not quoted this variable here. Let's go to that line. It's line 22. It tells you the line. Very cool. We go to line 22. It's here. Look, this, this line, this dump file, because I haven't quoted it, can do all sorts of nefarious things. This could expand, right, if I don't quote it and do all sorts of bad things. Let's have a look. So it all even comes with a helpful link. It basically tells you why what you're doing is wrong. Double quote from going on words It's problematic code. Problematic. And so I quote it, and then it removes. Sudo doesn't affect redirects. Okay, why does sudo not affect redirects? Ah, because redirections are performed before your current shell is started, apparently. This doesn't actually matter for me, and it is just a warning because it's in orange. So we can actually just ignore this one. But this one, what is this one? Code exit directly with if not my command. Not indirectly. Ah, so I'm using an old school bash style here. So I will go ahead and change that uh, after this video. Or will I change it? It says style there. What does that mean? Ah, I'm just doing something that's redundant. Because I'm, I'm old school bash, so... I don't actually have to change that. This has been a short PSA that you should use shell check and why. Uh, say for bash, bash is a great language uh, or shell, use it, use shell check to, to check your shell. Subscribe or I'll unquote your variables.